hello everyone hello to uh, my channel welcome to today's tutorial uh, in the last tutorial um, we have uh, seen the first parts of this uh, HKMS we have uh, specified the control uh, specifications as well as uh, we have inserted the weights for each uh, the watershed and lastly we have uh, seen some uh, we have inserted the precipitation for all uh, meteorological stations okay by specific uh, specifying uh, the uh, uh, different parameters okay for instance the update for update we have uh, given the data source the uh, unit in the, the time interval as well as we have uh, we have specified the uh, time window and uh, we have inserted the daily recorded precipitation and we have uh, visualized uh, the graph okay and all in similar way uh, all the uh, for all stations the precipitation data is inserted and for today's tutorial we will see how to add um, uh, other additional uh, time series data for instance we have um, uh, uh, necessary uh, data for this tutorial uh, like uh, stream flow as well as uh, the actual evapotranspiration data are there and uh, we would like to add those actual evapotranspiration data since we are working on uh, flood uh, uh, I mean for hydrological modeling basically therefore we need uh, those different hydrological data so uh, but uh, for this uh, case we have only, uh, only the precipitation gauges but I would like to add additional meteorological data like uh, uh, actual evapotranspiration the hydrological data that is the uh, principal I mean the discharge data so to add this one uh, the first thing you should have to uh, go is under component here go to this component okay and uh, there is a time series data we are adding a time series data under this one therefore go to component this time series data in the time series data here is the first uh, uh, data is the gauge discharge I would like to add the gauge discharge let me select this one in uh, and uh, let us uh, give the name as uh, the name as okay uh, Google uh, by uh, Google uh, by uh, uh, we can say stream flow stream flow the name should uh, should not have any space and under the description copy this one and uh, let me uh, write under the description in such a way Google by stream flow and uh, create this one you see a new uh, discharge gauge is now created here a new discharge gauge the time series data is now created and also I would like to create uh, another time series data which is uh, the actual evapotranspiration evapotranspiration gauge this one okay the evapotranspiration uh, gauge evapotranspiration gauge and create this one new evapotranspiration actual uh, actual evapotranspiration okay um, and yes no problem copy this one we can uh, give us uh, a name here actual evapotranspiration of uh, barter station okay BDR 
increase this one so we have uh, created additional uh, two uh, time series data the discharge and the uh, evapotranspiration so let me uh, insert the evapotranspiration data here the evapotranspiration data so to do that uh, expand this one actually and uh, we can or uh, double click here uh, go to this time series gauge and uh, the description is uh, now uh, the default extracted manual entry the unit is millimeters and the uh, time interval is daily data daily okay so if you have this one go to this time window it is similar with the precipitation data uh, 31 December 31 December uh, 31 December 2000 I mean 1993 okay and uh, the ending date is uh, 31 December so I need December 2008 all right this is the time window and under the table you can visualize it and uh, let me uh, uh, insert the actual evapotranspiration of the border station copy the select this one copy it and go to this uh, HHMS and under this uh, paste your data and you ha we have uh, this uh, uh, actual evapotranspiration and this one is a graph you can visualize the graph in such a way therefore we have inserted the actual evapotranspiration gauge save your work okay save your work and uh, the second one is uh, this discharge gauge okay uh, discharge gauge uh, we can see that under this we can give the time frame uh, this one under this the time uh, frame is uh, I mean the time series gauges uh, the description is now uh, extracted uh, data is manual entry unit is a cubic meter per uh, second yeah meter cube per second and the rec time interval is daily and the time window is um, my stream flow data starts from that of uh, 1996 okay not similar to that of the uh, other meteorological data so um, uh, our data started from that of uh, 1996 okay but here all inserted data should be considered no uh, no more giving of uh, one day before your uh, uh, starting is required okay so you should simply give your starting year your starting year okay therefore my uh, data starts from uh, 0 01 January uh, 1996 okay 1996 1996 and uh, uh, my data in this under 31 December December uh, 2008 all right therefore if you see the table you can copy uh, all the data for the stream flow no more giving of one date uh, before your starting date is not required therefore go to your uh, working folder go to this flow and I have the discharge here this is the discharge control plus a and the control plus C go to this heck HMS and uh, can paste your data here paste all right so we have a stream flow data from uh, 1996 to that of 2008 and you can visualize the um, discharge okay discharge uh, uh, in such a way so we have inserted our uh, discharge gauge in such a way save your work now so um, and if you have uh, additional uh, time series data uh, additional time series data if you are uh, lucky to add 
you can go to this one for instance like temperature gauge variations the wind gauge humidity gauges okay we have uh, those uh, options we have uh, those options for us what uh, as you have uh, seen before in my tutorial we have included the precipitation gauge the minimum and maximum temperature the radiation solar radiation that means the wind speed humidity gauges and the likes uh, for uh, hydrological modeling using SWAT and you can also uh, include for uh, your work on this on this uh, SHMS model in such a way and um, uh, it's enough uh, I hope it's enough for uh, today's tutorial and uh, we have seen how to add additional time series data on SHMS models and I hope it is very simple and direct for us if you have any questions uh, please uh, write under the comment section okay see you uh, for the next time have a nice time bye